The next concept we'll take a look at is multi-column layout, multi-column layout in HTML and CSS. So how we can achieve that using CSS is the question. So I'll delete everything inside the HTML page. We'll delete everything and then we'll go with multi-column layouts. So I'll have inside the body I'll have some content. I'll just generate a lot of content here. So this is how the page looks with all the content I am loading. So if you want to have multiple columns, how is that you're going to create that? I'll also have a heading here. I'll use an H1, H1 tag. And then I'll say this is my research article. Something like this. So I have written a research article. And now you see it is not a multi-column layout. It's in single column. If I want to divide this page into multiple columns, I have to add some CSS. Let me select everything, delete. How will you add CSS? You, you're, you're having the content inside the body. So you can go with this column count. How many columns you want? If I want three columns, just give three. You'll be able to see the contents now divided into three columns. Mostly news websites will follow this kind of a layout. Even research articles follow this kind of a layout. And uh, there are certain things you can do. You can have column rule. This can be like the border between the columns. Say I'll say two pixel solid blue. You can very well see whenever you use two pixel solid blue, that is the border between the columns. And you also have column gap, how much gap you want between the columns. If I say 20 pixels, so much gap comes between the columns. There's one more thing. That is, uh, you can go with text align within your columns, justify, so text is justified. And you can apply all the other effects that you wanted. See, this heading is actually present in this one column. If I want this to be spanning across multiple columns, what I should do? I should just perform this. Select the heading, H1, and then you have to give column span. You have to give all. So now it's going to span through all the columns and you can also go with text align. Text align to be center. So your effect comes in. You can give a background color for your, I don't know, I always like this aqua. So this is my research article. You want to give a background color for your entire body that also you can do. That is, uh, yeah. that is background color, right? Um, background color. So number of columns you have to mention. If I want that to be in two columns, see how easily it uh, maps itself to two columns. So you can also have images. You can float the images left and right. You can define margins across your around your images so that you get your article well and clear. Can you use an image inside the article? Say, let me go with an image. How will I use an image? Say, at the end of this, uh, I will go with an image. Sources, I have an images folder, caption.jpg. Alternate text is, this is a table. So I have included an image now. So image is occurring here. But the point is the text is not wrapping around the image. For that, what is the property we have to use? We have to go to this CSS property image and then we'll say float left. See, the moment I said float left, the text wraps around. I will specify margin by pixels. Let's see whether it's taking up that. I don't know whether it is visible. 
over 10 pixels. Now you are able to see, right? Because I was compressing that uh, output. So you can define a margin of 10 pixels. So you can place, when you float it right, it will be placed here. So you can create an article. Okay. So that is CSS. For this picture, you want a text. So that is an alternate. Uh, see, that is the alternate text. When this picture is not loading, that text will be displayed. So CSS multicolon layout. That's what it is.